Hello everybody, let's see who is the guinea pig today. Let's see what's inside. Oh, here you go. Remote switchboard circuit of today. Yeah. Hi friends, so today the guinea pig is this remote control LED lights from uh, Pound World in Pound World Electronics. That's it's a brand all over the UK. Could be in USA, could be the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, something similar, where everything is a pound. But some time to time they have these special lines, which is more than a pound. This one was like uh, five pounds. And we will see if one this one is any good and if we can use it for some other project of ours. All right, so let's open it up. I managed to cut this one over here. So we got three lights, some double-sided tape and a remote. A radio, a remote control. Here we go. This is our guinea pig for today. So it's a radio remote control for lights and we will see if we're gonna need something else. Let's start with the powering. And this one requires two AAA batteries, which of course are not in, but we have them prepared. And we're gonna insert them just like so. So our remote should be working. Let's see. You can see it on the camera. All right, so this one could be working. And let's test one of these. Ta-da! So it's gonna be again three AAA batteries. Which this one we don't have at the moment, but we will see. Aha! Uh -huh. So over here is gonna be the plus and minus. Alright, so we're gonna take two alligator clips. This is minus. And the other one should be plus. Let's see. Alright. So this one should be there and we're gonna try to power it with the uh, one 18650 cell like so all right so I told this one is the plus and this one should be the minus all right let's test it out all right then on off see it's working so the remote control has uh, for fixture, for position, off, on, half of the brightness, you can see, full, half, and the timer, 30 minutes. When you press the 30 minutes, it's gonna go on full brightness, and it's gonna counting, but we're not gonna wait 30 minutes for this one to go off. So, as you can see here, this one is all right for the purpose, but, we will see what's inside these uh, remote control LED lights and if we can hack this one and reuse it to our future projects. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so let's do first a test to see what uh, is the amp draw on those uh, LED lights, which are not that bright, but looking all right, so could be worth it. Let's check first the standby current draw. So the standby current draw it's nearly 10 milliamps. Uh, and now let's try and light it up. So on full brightness, it's gonna draw like 0 0.09, that means 90 milliamps, which is a little bit high. On half, all right, so it's 0 0.03. Is all right as a night light you know as an indicator all right yeah so 0 0.9 and 0 0.3 this is it okay and on standby is 0 0.01 all right not that bad it's okay we can manage to do some stuff all right so we saw the amp draw and now for the sake of knowledge and experimenting with the help of no skills required, we're gonna dismantle, we're gonna sacrifice one of these because we got three. We're gonna sacrifice one and to see what's inside and if we can use it 
for future projects. All right, so let's start to sacrifice this one. All right, so we have removed the, the back cover. We're gonna need just a Phillips screwdriver. It's got three tiny screws, which I think I'm gonna open. I'm gonna be able to open this one. This shit is fucking. All right, so always when you are trying to tear apart this kind of stuff, which are screws involved, just take a piece of magnet and it's good for removing the wires of the screws and to keep the screws all together. Yeah, just a second, we are nearly done. Got one more screw and that should be it. That's it. All right, Let's see, so it's got a front cover. This is the receiver, as you can see here, the RF receiver, another cover, all right, and the wires. So if you want to connect the, <coughs> this LED light to an 18650 cell like I did previously, here is the minus, here you go, here is the minus, and here is the plus. All right, so it's got the screws there. A small push button yeah, in case you wanna turn that one off. And we will try to open this one. Very gentle. It's very thin, so it's very, here you go. Alright, so this is the battery and this is the circuit board. As you can see here, it's very tiny. So this is the the circuit board. You know, it's got one, two, three, four, five LEDs. This is the plus and minus. And as we see on the diagram here, all the LEDs are in parallel. And from what I'm seeing here, the switch is on the negative side you know so this one is turning on this side could be a MOSFET involved here could be something else but there are two tiny you know, what chip is that one you cannot see it is too tiny to see it you know so all right but in order to to hack this one we're gonna hack into this wire so we're gonna remove the coating a little bit I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna remove the coating very gentle to not destroy this stuff because it's very thin just we're gonna scratch it a little bit to remove that coating and to give us some reference point this terminal that I'm uh, choking right now is the plus terminal and this big one is gonna be here where we got room you know, to not interfere with the other components. That's why we are scratching this stuff. All right, so this is the minus. Yeah, this is the minus and this is the plus stuff. All right, we're gonna connect now the 18650 cell and we will see the actually voltage drop of these LEDs. Again, we're not gonna connect the wires accordingly. So this one is gonna be the minus which is gonna be attached on this side. Very careful to not destroy the wires and to not touch the wire each other. You know, they're gonna make a short. And this one is the plus. Yeah, so we got this one prepared. Let's see, nice. All right, working. Okay, let's prepare the multimeter now. And we're gonna go into the volts settings. We have the remote here. We're gonna turn it turn it on and we will see what are the voltage if I'm gonna make it. I so it's 293 on the high and on the medium 1.16 
So 293. All right, then 293. All right, so in order to hack this one, if you, you want to do something else with it, the easiest way is to hack on these wires, like I told you here, extend these wires, and then connect a MOSFET or a relay. I think it's not going to be able to drive a relay, but a MOSFET will going to do the job. So with those two wires, you have the signal in. And on this side, you can connect it two ways. You're going to connect it in phase with this one, which that means if you're going to turn this one on, the, the other stuff that you're going to connect through a MOSFET is going to be on, or you can connect it uh, counter phase, which that means when this one is on, that one is off, and vice versa. All right, or you can use this LED as a flashlight, of course, and recover all these parts, just the LEDs. So I told uh, is 2.93. We're gonna do some calculation and we're gonna try to find a resistor and dive straight into it. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so if you saw my previous videos, if not, click here or in the description below. We said that we got four volts minus 2.9 over and let's see we saw that the total current was like 10.009 let's see we're gonna want to power this one with uh, 50 so it's 0 0.05 we're gonna try and see yeah let's do the calculation all right so we're gonna need a 22 ohm resistor Let's try it and see if this one is going to light up. Alright friends, we didn't find the 22, but we have found a 50 ohm resistor. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in series with our thingy there. Alright, so fingers crossed and let's get to work. As you'll see here, I'm going to put the resistor on the, on the positive side. And that's it. I'm gonna connect the battery. So this is the plus and the other one is the minus. Let's check to the the thingy there which one. So this one is plus and this one is minus. Let's see. It's gonna go kaboom. Ah, it's working. It's working like a charm, friends. Yeah. Let's check real close. Let's check the amp draw real close. So it's a plus, minus, 0 0.06. All right, so we are in range, totally there, definitely. Yeah, it's working, friends. So we dissected this one today, where I show you how you can reuse it as a flashlight. And in a future video, I'm going to show you how we can use this one in a practical application on your house. We're going to transform this remote control LED into a remote control 220 volts remote flashlight yeah thanks all for watching in the meanwhile share the comments below and do hit that bell notification that bastard bell and see you on the next one yeah oh poor thing see ya